Okay, so I copied this layer, I moved it over, I merged it, and now I'm finally at the middle of my keyframes. So now the flames have to really grow. So what do I need to do? I need to go back here, I need to deselect the one that I copied and delete it, and now build on top of it. And I'm gonna start building with flames. But first, let me change the bandit guy and just flicker so that he's now hotter. Can I go to this yet? Probably not. But I can start maybe layering some of these in different ways. So let me try different blending modes. Nope. Yeah, that works pretty well. Soft light is maybe a little more subtle. Pin light's pretty good. And there's one. What about this one? How about set this at pin light. It's too similar. Soft light. Then maybe move this one. And I'm going to make duplicates of these and move them down. Turn off the originals so I can start moving these around. It's looking satanic. And now I want to take the uh, smoke, right? And I just want to flicker it. Command T, or Control T rather, and just flip it horizontal. I'm just going to be doing this back and forth, so I'm not going to make duplicates of it anymore. Because I can still reproduce my uh, layers whenever I want. Now do I want to change the eyeballs at all? I think I want to slowly transition them. Eventually I'm going to get to here, right? So I want the eyeballs to get a little narrowed. So I'm just going to duplicate just the eyeballs. Hit Command T. Nope, make that Control T. And hold down Shift. Turn them to little slits, basically. And then select them out and move them. So it's getting narrower and narrower. Getting more and more freaked out. Now I know we created these vectors with really, really sharp edges, and you can see how they are softening as we are changing and changing scale and moving them. But ultimately, all of this is going to get reduced to just 256 different pixels across all of it. And then I can experiment with maybe having the eyes in front like that. Yeah, that's even creepier. I kind of like it. So it goes from this now. You know, let's do Command O to center it to Command O to this. And if there's anything I don't like, like I don't, this is a little distracting, this little prong at the end. So I'm going to warp that out. And anytime I can rasterize this as well, but if I don't need to, then I won't because then it won't lose any of the sharpness. Looks like it's getting a little hot under the collar though. Uh -huh. All right, so I've got that. Go to my topmost layer, which is gonna be the eyes. 
hold down shift, select everything, go to hold down option, go to layer, merge layers. I get that combined layer up on top, I hold down command A to select it all, command C to copy it all, go to my stage, command V to paste it all in. And it should feel like a pretty big jump because now we're into the, the middle of it, you know, but one thing doesn't quite work. Can you guys tell what it is? Because flames are active, they shouldn't hold still, and yet these ones are holding still. So that's why we do these little animation tests, or toggle them on and off. I say, no, that's no good, I delete that one. I go back to this and I say, no, this is no good, deselect, delete. The only thing I missed was this flame here. I want to toggle that. Ah. Control T, flip it horizontally. And that will do it. Okay, now, Command O, center them both. Now that will feel like it's really changing. Because I'm going to keep building these flames. Go up to the topmost layer, hold down Shift, select them all, hold down Option, go to Layer, Merge Visible, or Merge Layers. In Photoshop, it's Merge Visible. And then Command A, select all, Command C, copy all, Command V, paste it in. Good. Okay, now, Command D, deselect, delete that merge layer. Oh, what, what more? Well, let's do the easy things. Let's flip these. Control T. I'm going to start pulling this down now. Flip horizontal and pull it down a little bit. And the, the smoke, Command T, or Control T, flip horizontal and maybe move it up a little bit. So the smoke feels like it's rising. Okay, now let's layer the next flicker of the head. Let's flicker the eyes. Let's see, what do I want to do? I think that's too strong, but maybe I move the eyes now below. Eh. Maybe like that. Let's uh, flicker the eyes. I'm just going to shrink them just a tiny bit. Or maybe make them grow a little bit. That will be easier. So Control T, hold down Option, just let them grow a little. And maybe Control T, hold down Shift, shrink them down. It's going to start to get a little, little resigned to his fate. Okay, now for the fire, I can flip that. Control T. It's a really easy kind of hack for quick animations to just flip things horizontally and vertically to help them look like they're, they're moving. But I also want to change their opacities a little bit. So I have them at 100% opacity now. Let's take that down. And now we're going to add this, but I'll make a duplicate of it, and I'll just put it behind. And now we've got that mask on the collar that's in the way. Let's find that. Or let's just 
leave it painted. Paint it in. Or better yet, let's just shape the fire. Use our compositing skills. Don't have to take things as, the, as they are. We can shape them. Make them our own. So, from this, and again, if you want to center it, just Command-O to this. I think I want to shape it a little bit more, but I'm being picky. Control T, but think of all the control you have of every every pixel here. Change the shape of that fire towards what you want. And the bottom's bugging me a little bit, so I'm going to turn that. Oh, let me just move it up. So I'm just playing with these fire elements, because they can be different each time. Unlike a moon going across the sky or something, these fire elements can be really chaotic. Same things with lightning strikes or things that don't keep to a, a natural. order of things in nature. Okay, if that's my favorite, then I go and I hold down shift and I select them all from my topmost visible layer and I hold down option and I say layer, merge layers, and I select all, command A, copy by hitting command C, go to my stage, command V, and I paste it on top. Okay, now I'm going to start darkening my doggy. First deselect and get rid of that merge layer. It'd be fun to just let it flicker some more. Yeah, I guess I can. And I'll just build up a little bit more of the flame. I can try this now, but... I don't like opacity. Let's try pin light. And then I want to flip the other things. Control T. Flip horizontally. Move. These I want to select, and I want to flip them horizontally. And maybe move them a little. And now, instead of just the flickering of the, the ears getting redder and redder, I think I also want to add an effect of a color overlay where it starts to get darker and darker. Just a little bit. And I can do that with a just a normal color fill, but I'm going to set it on dissolve so it it looks grainy, kind of ashy. I'm going to let those eyes stay there. But I'm going to start at like 